Dollar Tony Dean for NetRadioDogs.com, and we are live in Nashville, Tennessee, once again. And uh, we are at the old Studio B, uh, Columbia Studios here on Music Row. I've still got chills just being out here, seeing all these uh, amazing things that I've dreamed about for years. Um, sitting with uh, Mr. Lou Bradley. Uh, I'm going to let you kind of go into what role you played here for the last how many years? Well, I was an, an engineer mm -hmm. at the Columbia Studios for 13 years. Right. And I mostly worked in this room. And before we talk about me, let's talk about Music Row. This is where it Great. started, right yeah. here. Sounds it good. started right here at 34 uh, Music Square East. It, to me, it's 16th and Hawkins Street and always will be. <laughs> They've changed the names. So. I've got to. But uh, I'm no kin to Owen and Harold Bradley. Mm -hmm. They're from here. I'm from Florida. But they built a studio here in an old house. They bought a, a, it a duplex, right. two stories with a basement. And they, they uh, knocked the first floor out and built a studio in there. Right. And it went, the floor of the studio was the basement floor, so it had a high ceiling, but it was not a big room. It was right. a smaller room, and a lot of hits were cut in there. And this room we're in is actually a Quonset hut. Right. And they bought like military surplus. Exactly. And they built a film studio in here. Really? And, and I still see uh, stuff that was. Uh, filmed in here. Uh, there's some stars of the 50s. It's a beautiful color. A guy named Bill Ganaway recorded them in 35 millimeter color wow. film. It's Carl Smith and, and Marty Robbins and, and uh, Ray Price and Ernest Tubb and Gosh. Annie Pearl and all that. And uh, if you see them on TV, they were cut in here when it was a film studio. They were cutting hits in the original studio. Mm -hmm. But it was not a state of the art. Right. Uh, we're talking about mid uh, 54, mm -hmm. 55, somewhere in there. And uh, Paul Cohen ran the country division of Decca Records. And he was going to three different locations in the country recording his artists. I'm not going to name names or anything. Right. I'm just going to say, and one of them was here with Owen and Harold. Okay. And um, their studio. And he made all of them about the same time this offer. If you'll build a first class studio, you'll get all my business. Well, he wanted three track recording and stereo was coming on. They wanted right. three track, a good console with good EQ in it. EQ is the tone controls you use to right. on each one. And and three track Ampex recorders and German EMT reverb. That's a big steel plate that gives you good reverberation. Right. And uh, and good mics. Well, the Bradleys always had good mics in their studio, the original studio. Well, the other two guys in other parts of the country were greedy guys. <laughs> and they was trying to figure out how they could ace Paul Cohen out and get the whole Magilla. They wanted the production and everything. Well, the Bradleys, they just wanted his business. Right. So they found that they could buy a console that was going to a New York DECA studio. It was being built in New Jersey, so they bought it. It was a Longevin console. That's a, a brand name of, right. a, a, of a, they built uh, equalizers and faders and equipment. To, you build a console out of it. And they bought that console, built this control, not this room, because they tore that out. They, they had to rebuild this, but they built a control room and converted the Quonset Hut from a film studio into a uh, recording studio. And uh, that's when Music Row really took off. I bet. And this uh, this old studio evolved until 82, June of 8. They closed it June 15, 1982. I did the last session in here on the 14th. Wow. We did Swingin' with John Anderson. Yeah. Million Seller. We cut two number one country records and a gold album and a gold single. We had Swingin' and Wild and Blue. In, wow. in those sessions. We went out of here with the It was still Bible. Yeah, you did go out in the bank. It was, it was still Bible. I'd still be here today. I'm 75 years old. I'd still be here today <laughs> making records because it was so good. But uh, that just showed, and I told Harold Bradley the story just like I told it to you, that it started on integrity. Right. 
He said, I can add to your story. When we sold, when we converted uh, the Quonset to recording studio, and then it became, uh, uh, you know, Bradley Studio B. Right. Because the other studio was Studio A, the original studio, which is long gone. Yeah. And so they built this studio, and uh, Owen told Paul Cohen, we're going to make you a third partner in this venture. He said, I don't know. yeah, we are, and he shook his hand. And he said, the Paul was supposed to put money in, he never did. <laughs> he never took any out, never expected any. Because, you know, he was an honorable man. But when they sold it to Columbia, the Bradley sold this whole facility to Columbia. Owen cut him a check for a third, handed to him. So what's this? He said, that's your third, I'm an honorable man. And wow. Shook your hand. That's, music role started on integrity.